Hello everybody and welcome to the last session of Vector's first Virtual Tech Day for Measurement Technology here in the United States. My name is Christoph Eller. In my session, I'd like to introduce you a really exciting tool and its applications. The tool is interesting for the following reasons. It will help you to be much quicker and faster. The tool will also support you getting rid of the boring things you might have to do on a daily basis. And the tool will help you to be more organized and efficient. And this is something your management will definitely like and appreciate. So let's spend the next 20 minutes on simple measurement data analysis and data management. In the previous sessions, my colleagues from Vector and CSM have shown you how to measure analog signals in a high voltage environment with high sampling rates, precise, accurate, and absolutely secure. In my session, simple measurement data analysis and data management with vSignalizer and VMDEM, I'd like to focus on how to visualize, how to analyze, and how to process the recorded data in a secure and efficient way. First, I'd like to give you an overview of the VMDM solution with its concepts, features, and functions. Then I would like to show you in two customer use cases how our VMDM users work with the solution, how they take benefit from the features and functions for efficiency increase and for automation. And then I would like to show you in a VMDM demo how to work with the tool. My goal for this session is that you get a good first impression of the VMDM features, functions and capabilities and that you can assess how to integrate VMDM in your daily work and how you can take benefit of the tool. In this slide, I present some aspects for which customer have asked us for a solution. During drive tests, durability and endurance drives, you will get measurement data on a large scale. Gigabyte, terabyte or even petabytes of data come together here. The questions that engineers and technicians from development, drive tests, validations and IT ask themselves are, how can I store the data securely and in a structured manner? How do I ensure that my colleagues can find the data quickly? How can I protect the data from unauthorized access? How can the measurement data be clearly marked and identified? How can extensive analysis be carried out efficiently and how can the results be presented clearly? We at Vector have an answer to those questions and challenges. It's the Vector Measurement Data Management System, VMDM. I want to finalize this slide with a statement from a VMDM customer. He summarized the added value of VMDM in the following way. VMDM makes existing knowledge visible. He also mentioned that the reports created with VMDM have a direct impact on product design. Now let's have a closer look at the VMDM system. VMDM in a nutshell. The Vector Measurement Data Management System, VMDM, is a system that combines management, engineering and analysis aspects in an integrated overall solution. Teams working worldwide can manage their data in a central location and analyze them according to their application. VMDM is the last vector solution for secure storage and management of measurement data, organization of measurement data in containers and collections, data access according to access rights, metadata handling, efficient analysis with data pre-processing and pro data post-processing creation of meaningful reports. The data analysis comprises pre-processing when uploading the data as well as the post-processing of the stored data. Reports are created automatically with reference to the metadata. The Vector Measurement Data Toolchain. VMDM provides you with a server or cloud-based backend to store, process and analyze your data. With a well-organized data storage, you support the worldwide access to your measurement data and support the data exchange between distributed teams. And you benefit from a close integration with the functions of CanAPI and vSignalizer. 
With VMDM, you can rely on a solution that is based on proven technology of Canopy and vSignalizer. Canopy's or vSignalizer's functions for data analysis, data mining, and report generation are ported to the VMDM backend. Here, you can benefit from the server performance without affecting the performance of your desktop or notebook. Now let's have a quick look to the data flow. Measurement, data acquisition and upload. If you work with vector loggers or tools, Canapé or vMeasure Expert, you can start uploading the measurement file to VMDM immediately and automatically after having done the measurement. You could also upload measurement files from the Windows Explorer or via the VMDM batch client. Interactive data analysis. Filtering, searching and downloading of measurement files from the VMDM backend is done with the VMDM Explorer in Canopy and vSignalizer. Downloaded measurement files can be processed similar to local files. Data analysis authoring tools. The data analysis, data mining and report generation functions that should be executed in the VMDM cloud are designed and tested locally in the vector tools Canopy or vSignalizer. The porting from desktop to cloud is done with a simple mouse click. The product variants. VMDM exists in two variants. VMDM on enterprise or as VMDM in the cloud. In the case of VMDM on enterprise deployment, Vector will install VMDM in your company's IT network. The system operation of VMDM and the provision of sufficient storage is under your responsibility. In the case of VMDM on cloud deployment, VMDM is offered as software as a service. All you have to do is to provide a connection to the internet, we take care of everything else. For both VMDM product variants, you will need a vector front end tool like vSignalizer or Canopy. VMDM software as a service. As mentioned before, in the case of a VMDM deployment in the cloud, VMDM is offered as a service. We call this software as a service, SaaS. With SaaS, Vector will provide the infrastructure, will take care of the installation and operation of the VMDM solution. With our cloud provider, Vector will deploy VMDM in data centers in Europe, America and Asia. Access to the Vector Cloud is via a service gate, possible where authorization and authentication will take place. The functional architecture of VMDM. This slide shows the main components of VMDM with the interfaces to the data sources, the administration environment and the users. Let's have a quick look to the essential components of VMDM. File storage. VM uses a file system or object store to store measurement data. The measurement files are stored as MF4 files. In case of a file system, various systems such as the Windows file system, OpenStack, Ceph, and Swift, Azure Blob Storage, Hadoop, HDFS are supported. Metadata indexing and pre-processing. Below, you can see the metadata index. This metadata index is filled from metadata of the MF4 files, headers, or from calculated values during pre-processing. During pre-processing, metadata can be derived from the signals. Max values, mean values, or standard deviations are just a few examples. Metadata could also be derived from other systems like a vehicle information database, diagnostics database, or it's simply a file. Metadata describe, for example, the vehicle type, the characteristics of the engine, information of test drives, and much more. The user management, in this area, the roles of the users are defined, standard users, collection administrators, system administrators. Here, you also define the access rights to the collections, like up and download rights, read access, and so on. Before now starting with the tool demo, let's have a quick look to two main use cases. VMDM used for management of test bench data. The object of this project was the uniform recording of test data generated as test benches. The test benches are distributed worldwide in the tech centers of the customer. 
the system was to record the measurement data fully automatically, process it according to a defined procedure, and feed the data into a documentation. Overall, efficiency was to be increased and comparatively analysis based on defined criteria were to, made, were to be made possible. Results. On the basis of VMDM, a seven days, 24 hours, fully automated system was deployed that is ready to process the test bench data from various locations around the globe. VMDM for file management of lead loggers. In this example, the customer's requirements was to be set up a system to measure, to manage the measurement files, including associated data from tests and durability drives worldwide. The system should enable to analyze the data on any criteria and to automatically create reports. The results are the report generation based on fully automated local file handling and metadata collection was implemented. On the right hand side, you see here the BMDM cloud report. And this report I'm going to show in the tool demo. Now let's start with the demo of vSignalizer and VMDM. I will do the demo based on concrete example. I will use VMDM to create a comprehensive report that shows us the results of a vehicle fleet test. Meanwhile, I started vSignalizer as a front-end tool to VMDM already. Here you see the main page, the main window with the simple explorer, the ribbons, the menu bar and several display pages. Before we go through the single steps to create the report, let's have a look to the layout of the report we are going to create. On the left hand side, we find information about engine and oil temperature of each test drive. We find here the histogram showing the classification of the gear shifts. And on the right hand side, we see average and statistical values of the measurement files. This example measurement cloud report has been generated based on 51 measurement files, resulting in an overall total driving distance of more than 1,200 kilometers and more than 3,190 gear shifts. Let's have a look to the data that is currently contained in the collection that has been generated for this demo. In the ribbon display, I select VMDM Explorer, I select the collection, synchronize with the collection and then I highlight here the measurement files including their meta information here in the VMDM Explorer. Currently there are 51 measurement files contained in the collection together with their metadata. The metadata is configured and defined according to your needs. Here we have meta information for the market for emissions engine type and so on. For hydrogen or electromobility projects there were definitely different meta information defined. You can use the meta information to filter, to search for the, met, for the measurement files or to create queries. So for instance, to filter for engine types with engine type gasoline and for the market USA, you simply select here the appropriate filters and as a result, you see here three measurement files in line with market USA and in line with engine type gasoline. You easily can save this specific filter combination as a called so-called query. I call it my new query. And uh, as you see here, I have already created more queries in order to organize to structure and to provide a convenient overview of the measurement files here for measurement files in line with emission regulations EU5, EU6 and also here some measurement files being generated in winter test number one, winter test two and so on. You can easily execute those queries and then as a result you get here all the measurement files being created during winter test two. You can easily get access to the measurement files for visualization and analysis purpose. That means you download here now in this example, measurement file 20, demo 20 here to your local environment just by clicking here and selecting local load file. 
the file will show up in the simple explorer you simply select the <coughs> the signals you are interested in and then you insert it into the graphical window here for presentation and visualization uploading of measurement files is also very easy i clear here we have at the moment as mentioned before 51 files so we select measurement file number 52 if needed we can modify or enter here specific information test engineer select the appropriate values of the system under test here the engine criteria power value of 270 horsepowers a torque value of 500 newton meter and then we simply click on upload we have a look to the notifications dialog that shows us the progress of transferring the files here from your local environment to the cloud the checksum algorithm is used to guarantee the correct transfer of the data from your local environment to the cloud as soon as the transfer the upload is finished we get here an acknowledgement and also we have here a look here to the content doing a synchronization and then we find there are 52 files currently contained here in the cloud as we have seen uh, the visualization of the signals is very easily and very powerful in signalizer signalizer itself offers various windows for signal presentation you have a graphical window you have a text window you have a numerical window you have a boolean window and so on in this example i've chosen the graphic window to visualize the speed signal over time i applied a so-called color function to it in order to highlight the driving conditions anytime the driving situation with was speed over 80 kilometers per hour it was yellow and above 100 kilometers per hour it was here signed in red color in the window below here we have the visualization of the speed signal over the gear signal also i added uh, further information statistical information in the legend this information can also very easily be used in the final report now let's look to the functions here in this window we see again the speed signal also colored here by the color function and also we see some statistical information like max speed or mean average values this information is derived from the signal by applying functions from signalizers rich function library so for instance we see here under base mathematics we see here the integral function or under signal analysis we have here for instance a fast Fourier an FFT function or in the statistics we have here mean average max and so on those functions you simply assign this function to the signal and then you get the results highlighted in the graphical window the calculated distance is done by assigning the integral function to the vehicle speed and in this case in this example it shows 23 kilometers of the test drive now let's look to the histogram in the final report we wanted to show the overall number of gear shifts during upload of every measurement file we derive in the so-called pre-processing step the number of shifts per measurement file so that means we count the number of gear position one gear position two gear position three and so on save them in global variables and the result is here highlighted in a numerical way and here in a histogram and this pre-processing step is executed during the upload of every measurement file and then you need a post-processing step during report generation to summarize, to sum up, to work with the calculated data. So let's now have a quick look to the reports. At the moment, we have 52 files in the collection. This morning, 
I already created a report based on 51 or 50 or 49 measurement files. You can open this PDF report just with a mouse click. And here, this report shows you the number of files and the calculated, analyzed, summarized data here for engine oil temperature here the counting for the upshifts and downshifts in total. So 50 files have been taken into consideration, resulting in a total driving distance of more than 1,200 kilometers and in the total number of upshifts of 3,181. Now let's run the report taking the actual 52 files into consideration. Now we run the report. The report will take the 52 measurement files into consideration. The status that uh, the report is just under execution is here marked by a state running. Typically, uh, our customers run this report once a day or once a week in order to document the results of the test drives done during the day or during the week. Now we can open uh, the PDF report showing here 52 measurement files taken into consideration with a total driving distance of almost 1,300 kilometers and a total number of shifts of 3,359. Here on the left-hand side, we see the slightly modified presentation of the results for engine and oil temperature and for the classification of the gear shifts. I hope that I could show you with this demo example how easy it is to create comprehensive reports using Vectors Measurement Data Management System. In case of any questions, use the Q&A session after this presentation and demo. Or for further information, please visit us on the Vector homepage. Thank you very much for your time and your interest.